from United We Dream, Felipe Souza Rodriguez. Good evening, everyone. I just have to say how honored it is to be here as a, an LGBT immigrant, uh, myself, who have been dragged out out of rooms and been arrested a few times. Uh, I, look at, I look to you for a lot of inspiration uh, when we're looking at our tactics and our strategies. But, uh, <laughs> But I'm really here to talk about Dave, David uh, McReynolds. Uh, he arrived in New York City in 1956. I just got there and it's a really scary place. Uh, and, and he found himself among people who were laying the groundwork for the 60s. The War Resisters League's offsho uh, Offshoot Liberation Magazine drew together an amazing group, including Paul Goodman, Barbara Demon, uh, Sarang Lind, David Dellinger, A.G. Musty, Norman Thomas, uh, Alan Ginsberg, and Bayard Rustin, and Grace Paley. These they sent something in the air and set out to figure it out. Uh, as, a historian, uh, as historian Paul uh, Bew says, uh, it would be nearly impossible even at its late, uh, late date to emphasize how greatly liberation and the, the milieu around it contributed to what was new, positive, and constructive for young people within the new left. While David McReynolds uh, uh, worked for liberation, he also plunged into civil rights direct action under the guidance of Bayer Rustin and Ella Baker. <laughs> A few weeks after Lyndon Johnson won the presidential election in November 1964, uh, he and Musty uh, and other organi others organized a 1,000 person demonstration against the war in Washington Square, New York City. Others were held in Boston, Philadelphia, Chicago, San Francisco, and in Seattle. None were big, none got much coverage, but they led to a big surprise the following spring in Washington, D.C. Recently, David, uh, reflecting on his long career, said, Passivism is not for cowards. In fact, one of the main problems I had in, in becoming or trying to become a pacifist was that I knew I lacked the courage needed. In the end, looking back at a, at a life in which I have suffered little for, for my beliefs, I conclude that God watches over atheists and cowards. <laughs> We are not required to march further than we are able, but to at least take the few steps we can. Bayer Rustin explained it to me as the soldiers in a foxhole when a volunteer was needed for an errand, which might, well be, might be fatal, and the soldier who volunteered did so because he looked around at the others around him, one whom, who, one who, whom he knew was too terrified to make the run safely one who had a wife waiting for him, one who might falter because of an earlier wound, said to himself, let it be me. And all that pacifism does is to extend the foxhole to include also our enemies. This is not an easy task. Well, let's show our appreciation for David McReynolds and, and let's applaud him.